Have you ever wondered how to make people respect you more? Do you think it's about being rich, powerful, or famous? Or is there something else that matters more? Today, I'm going to tell you a story from the Buddhist tradition that teaches us a valuable lesson about respect. It's about a king who wanted to test his peoples and see who was truly loyal and respectful to him. The king had a beautiful garden full of flowers, fruits, and birds. He loved to walk in the garden and enjoy its beauty. One day, he decided to play a trick on his people. He ordered his gardener to plant a fake tree in the middle of the garden. The tree was made of wood and painted with bright colors. It looked very strange and out of place. The next day, the king invited all of his ministers, nobles, and courtiers to visit his garden. He asked them what they thought of his new tree. Everyone praised the tree and said it was the most wonderful and magnificent tree they had ever seen. They lied because they were afraid of offending the king or losing his favor. The king smiled and pretended to be pleased, but he knew they were not sincere. Only one person did not lie. He was a poor monk who lived in a nearby monastery. He had come to the garden to beg for some food. When he saw the fake tree, he was puzzled and curious. He went closer to examine it. He realized it was not a real tree, but a wooden imitation. He wondered why the king had planted such a thing in his beautiful garden. The king noticed the monk and asked him what he thought of his new tree. The monk bowed respectfully and said, Your Majesty, I'm sorry to say this, but this is not a real tree. It's a fake one. It has no life, no fragrance, no fruit, no shade. It does not belong in this garden. It spoils its beauty and harmony. The king was surprised and angry. He thought the monk was rude and insolent. He shouted, how dare you insult my tree? You are a fool and a liar. You have no taste or appreciation for art. You are not fit to be in my presence. Guards, take him away and throw him in prison. The monk was not afraid, he said. Your Majesty, I'm not insulting your tree. I'm telling you the truth. The truth is more important than pleasing you or anyone else. I respect you as my king, but I respect myself more as a seeker of truth. I cannot lie to you or, or to myself. The king was stunned by the monk's words. He realized he had made a mistake. He had been fooled by his own pride and vanity. He had planted a fake tree to test his people, but he had failed the test himself. He had not respected the truth for himself. The king felt ashamed and humbled. He apologized to the monk and released him from prison. He thanked him for his honesty and courage. He said, You are the only person who has shown me true respect today. You have taught me a valuable lesson. Respect is not something you can demand or buy with money or power. Respect is something you earn by being truthful, humble, and authentic. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. The moral of the story is that if you want to make people respect you more, you have to respect yourself first. You have to be honest with yourself and others, even if it means going against the crowd or facing criticism or rejection. You have to be humble and admit your mistakes, even if it hurts your ego or reputation. You have to be authentic and express your true self, even if it makes you different or unique. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stories like this one. Thank you for watching.